Yo, what's going on, Crystal Seekers? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Beard Access video, and this might be an update that you got, a lot of you guys are looking forward to. Uh, it was already announced, kind of, you know, for both versions, kind of a thing, I think, is what they're going with, but uh, we're getting actual information now. So, in depth information in, in terms of what these units are going to be like. So, shout out to my Discord, as always, who compile this information for me, uh, especially when I'm at work and I don't have time to compile it all myself. So, here we go. On top of the banner and everything like that, there's going to be some changes, including some uh, some inventory upgrades. So it looks like there's going to be more space involved with that. So hopefully, I'll be help. And this is I mean, this is like one of, probably one of the biggest changes of the year so far. Uh, being able to have more spaces for your vision cards now, it would be a lot better if you could sell them. <laughs> But this is a, a decent alternative to that situation where you now you have 3,000 extra spaces. That's 1,500 extra over what you had originally. So I'm constantly hitting the maximum vision cards because you always get trash ones that you don't want. And you just kind of, there's not much you can do about it. But uh, now on to Final Fantasy 16. Yep, the main character is here and he does have a CG animation. I'm not sure if there's a picture for it, but... The heat does have a CG animation. I'm not sure if the other one does. Um, and by the way, I've never played this game because I don't think it's on PC still. I'm pretty sure it's on PC. Whenever it comes to PC, I probably will play it. I'm not sure if I'll do it on the channel. Maybe I will if you guys want to see that. Uh, I did do 15. For those OG fans out there who of my channel who watched that 15 content, it was kind of inconsistent, but I mostly streamed it. Uh, that was a, that was a fun time back back then doing 15. And uh, Prompto and all that. <laughs> the OG people will know what I, what I mean by that. That's pretty funny. But all right, so yep. Sadly or not sadly, both of them are Neo Vision Plus. So you now you're gonna have to pick and choose which one you'd want, because only whales can go for both. Even I wouldn't be able to go for both because of the rate. The rates, yes, they're improved to one percent, but it's still only one percent. That's still not that great. Uh, the rates need to be improved even further. So. You have a physical damage dealer. He has a fire and wind element. So that means he has 150% amp. There, there's a CG, by the way, in that picture there. But Rebellion tag, Guardian tag, or Elite Soldier tag, Royal Flag tag, World Savior tag, and also Summon an Esper tag, which is uh, not going to be as useful, but okay. He has 1,250% leader skill, attack and magic for Elite Soldiers. And not as good a leader skill for fire, but that's okay. So Cloud is under this leader skill, so already that's a huge win. If you have Cloud already and you want to pull for this guy, now Cloud is, has even better leader skill. So now Cloud's going to be even better. Uh, we'll have to see who else is on that leader skill because, yeah, Cloud's on it, but he kind of needs some help too. Like, it would be nice if he get some support. So already looking pretty good in that regard. Of course, as always, these... NV plus vision cards are trash and I don't know why they're doing it this way because it, They're trash like this trash. I don't know what else I can say. It's just I can't even be positive about it You guys know at this point on global that they're trash, but it is what it is Okay, I don't understand why they even bother making vision cards if they're just gonna be trash Like no one's ever gonna use them Only like if you're a like, completely new player would you even use them? And then we have this character, um, physical, ice, elite soldiers, summon an esper, royal flag, the gathering, that's pretty good. And then a new tag called maiden who rushes into battlefield, which is a bit of a mouthful there, but thousand percent leader skill for ice. Uh, <laughs> Regina finally has a good leader skill guys. Let's go. <laughs> that's a joke by the way. It's a joke. Trash vision card as always, and then then the usual. They're doing another. Oh my god! I just finished the fifth. The Final Fantasy not fifteen. I just finished the the Final Fantasy seven one, and now they're already doing another one in the middle of the month as well. By the way, so I guess it makes sense because we just did a raid, but there is a Vision World as well that we'll be looking at. Uh, vision World, but. Another King Mog or Certificate event, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and here's the options where you can select shards for. So, 
Sophie, Sophie is in there. Probably the only one you're gonna even choose. I have her EX3 now. So now I have to look for someone else like Trey or probably Landu or Landu. But that's something. And some events. Cool. Vision World guys, Vision World. So there's a Vision World coming. That's gonna be pretty hype. That's more lapis in your pocket if you can get a good score. And this, I think there's a, someone told me there's a boss rush. So this looks like the boss rush. Free pull, that is nothing special. They always do free pulls nowadays. And then I think this is this ticket thing where you can, you know, someone, not summon, you use the ticket and you get a bunch of fire units. So I think that's just what this is. And then the same, you know, pearls. And then if you do some things, you get these stones, tokens, or whatever you call them, and you do a summon, whoops, and you get some characters in this list here. So some of them are looking pretty good, like the new Roka, I'd like to have that, the, what's her name? I forgot what her name is, I should know, oh, Pene Penelo. Yeah, Penelo, there's Lulu in there. And then it kind of trails off with the other ones in the background, like you wouldn't really want to get in these other things, but the new Yuna, I mean, everything in the front, and then Lulu. Everyone, all four characters here and Lulu, you'd like to have. Um, they're all very good supporting characters. That are recent, by the way. And then there's this re-rolling burst ticket thing that they were releasing. That I, we don't know anything about because they didn't mention it too much about it, but... Um, you can re-roll with it, but... There's always a problem with rerolling because you might get a bad pull, but what if you reroll and you get something even worse? So that's always a risk. And the popularity contest with CG only animations. And let's look at, oh, it's only FFB, by the way. And so let's look at it. So 20th. Dios is 20th. Bomber's not even a real character. He's, he doesn't have a CG animation, but apparently Bomber's here. Surprisingly, Hio is 17th. Uh, that's actually surprising to me because the CG animation still holds up quite well. But, okay. Sakura, that's fine. Charlotte being this low is pretty surprising. This low, I'm not really, I don't really care about it. I don't remember Ayaka having CG animation. Pretty sure she does not have one, but okay. The, pretty sure this was only for CG, but... Okay, well, there's some characters in here that do not have CG, but they're in here, so... I don't know. Axstar... He used to be, like, number one or two for a long time, and then... Well, there's been a lot of new characters out and stuff, so okay. And then, I'm just skipping ahead, because <laughs> I don't want the video to be too long. Uh, Dark Rain. Kind of funny to see Snowvinka not even, even close to being, you know, in the top, top five. That's pretty funny to me. And then we have last well, unfortunately, the fifth place. Tyvus, of course, the Giga Chad being fourth out of 20. Pretty respectable. And then, of course, it's pretty obvious who the last ones would be. Uh, third place is the Dark Fina, who doesn't have a picture apparently for. And then second place is this Fina. And then, of course, number one is the main character of the entire game besides last well. Uh, people seem to forget that there's two main, or actually technically three main characters. Uh, Last fall should be as equal as Rain, but I mean, Rain has had more characters, more meta characters, if you want to call it that, I guess. So, Rain is there. He's the number one, so. I don't know what this is even supposed to mean. If they're going to make another Rain, I mean, are they going to be excited for that right now when we're getting 16? Probably not. And then the rest of you guys don't really care about because it, it doesn't pertain to you guys uh, when it comes to the global, but. Pretty hype, pretty hype all around guys. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming, Vision World, and new characters that should be very good, especially this guy's a leader skill for Cloud. So they kind of got you in another way. They used to do the thing where they, you know, do a Neo Vision Plus unit and then have a field effect that you had to pull for as well. But this guy, now you, if you pull for Cloud, now you kind of have to go for this guy because the leader skill is very good. Much better than, than Cloud's own leader skill. So. We'll have to see if this guy is a finisher as well. That kind of doesn't make sense and it wouldn't really work. Um, he needs to be a chainer in order for this 
cloud team to work. Because if they're both finishers, then you really wouldn't want to use either or on the same team because it's just they're you need you need chainers too. You can't just have finishers. And Cloud's already strong enough on his own, so this guy needs to be a chainer of some kind. So hopefully that's the case. He's a physical damage dealer, but that's all we know. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think about these two characters coming. They're coming, guys, and they're probably going to come to Global 2. Um, supposedly, they're supposed to be at the same time or around the same time. But it looks like JP is getting it first because this is the 11th that they come out, which is tomorrow already. Oh, boy. Well, the global review is going to have to wait then because I, I obviously have to review these. Um... Unless they, maybe that's the reason why there hasn't been, but then why, there's a live stream on the 14th for Global. And the only reason why they didn't, maybe they didn't show the banner of this week is because this is coming up. Then why wouldn't they have just said that? Why wouldn't the, why wouldn't they have a live stream on the, on Wednesday to reveal this? Just like JP did. So that's kind of a head scratch. I'm not sure what that is. Because uh, they, they, it's the 14th, I'm pretty sure, is the live stream for Global. So that's kind of weird. When, when is the 14th? Sunday. So, like, next week is when Global gets this, perhaps? It should have been at the same exact time, but... Okay. Well, next week maybe you'll guys get this. And, uh, yeah. That's it for the news, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. 16! Coming, whether it comes to global now or comes to global later, it's coming. So, I'll see you guys in the comment section down below. Peace.